All right, and we're good to go, chat. Technical difficulties aside, game is working. We are at the start of the game. So let me just try and explain things one more time, and hopefully it all goes well. I'm trying to get a good starter here. And as you can see, I'm moving a bit fast. This game has a bit of a speed up thing where it lets you like uh, increase the tech speed and movement speed, which is good because Gen 4 be super slow. Dialogue's pretty much the same anyway, so we're mashing through it. It's a hack by Dreano, and it's got more Pokemon variety and is hard. That's all we gotta know. And that's right, we do got new Teddy Ursa emotes, so let's do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yes. Let's hope the penguin is good this time. I started this last week, decided to just restart, because I put myself in a bad position, because I underestimated how hard it would be. Penguin friend gained, and I can't nickname it until I get to the lab. Remember not to skip that text. I can't check the stats of the penguin in the first battle, so let's find out. We got 10 years to emotes, feel free to spam them. They are wholesome bears. A bit of a late start and some te technical difficulties, but it's okay. We're gonna enjoy the video game. I got my Moomin plush. I got a drink. And this turtle is refusing to go down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose now. <laughs> Try bubble, I guess. There's a bit more now. It is nice to see Gen 4 battles moving fast for once. Hmm. Yep, dead. Were we speed time that whole time? No, we weren't. What am I saying? Okay, it's fine. Barry ends me easily. Alright. My mom has a little Eevee here. I get to take a free Eevee because games love to do that for some reason. Let me check my penguin. Minus attack plus speed. I'll take it. Wait, vital spirit? Oh, I can get hidden abilities? I knew it said I know it said torrent last time I checked. Um, I think I'll keep this. Let's go with this penguin. Alright. By the way, the game literally gives you the bike and running shoes at the very beginning. Like, as soon as you walk downstairs. It adds a bit of quality of life stuff. I know that you also don't have to do the clown puzzle thing in Jubilee if you just straight up get the Poke Watch. The story and dialogue's pretty much all the same, so we don't need to sit here and read it. It takes too long. Okay. We need to get Pokeballs now. Route 201 still got Starlies. Now this penguin can never sleep, which is not good. I don't think there's... Okay, yeah. Poison rabbit thing. Uh-oh. This is fine. This is fine. I want to focus on my starter for a bit. Before I get new friends. Been waiting for you. Please come with me. Okay, now I gotta remember to press A so I can nickname the penguin. Just carefully check. Alright. I think I'm gonna name it King. Keep it simple and cool. Because this penguin is the king. Kings don't sleep. They got too much time, they got a rule. Speaking of sleep, oh, my sleep schedule has been all messed up recently. Slept in way too late. Okay. And now I need to go see my mom. 
Yeah, he gives you the poke. They also give you the poker radar at the start of this hack. It's cool. And a few repels. Yeah, here we go. Five minutes on speed mode and we're still in the tutorial. Just imagine how long it'd take if I was uh, taking my time. Hang on. Let me just... I'm pressing start again. Radar. Register. Okay. Let's go. Get out of the way. Quick rest, and mom says go. And now I gotta take a parcel to Barry. That's fine. I like this penguin's ability. It should help me. Take Eevee with me, I guess. I'm not gonna use it. I don't really want to use an Eevee. But we may as well check, check it out. Quirky, it's neutral. Run away. Yeah, I guess I got it, but... It's not really what I want to build my team around. I, I get an Eevee every time. This game also throws more starters at you. That I definitely am aware of. Bye, Mom. Took your only Pokemon. Now she'll never be able to leave town. Thanks for subbing, friend. We're gonna take out this Bidoof right quick. I need to get them levels. Yeah, I know Fairy type is in this game. I played Storm Silver before. That one was fun. But it's just, just in general, Gen 4 games are painfully slow, so I usually put them off. And this seems like a good compromise for me. Because I can actually move. Hmm. Okay, should be fine. We should have Pokemon battle. Let me heal your Pokemon. Instead of teaching me how to catch Pokemon, Lucas just battles now. And right off the bat, level 9. He got nothing. Monkey has nothing. Excellent. Water sport, the most useless move ever. And he gives me zero dollars. And that's how it's done. Gets a whole lot more interesting. He'd say 30 Pokeballs. Excellent. One thing I know that, ch chat, one thing that definitely isn't increased, though, is the speed of uh, saving a lot of data. That is still painfully the same. Now, what I want to do on this route is I want to catch a bunch of Zigzagoon, because they have pickup as an ability. Yeah, playing with the speed options made made it much more bearable. I, I tried streaming this last week, but it was just too slow, and I got quickly stuck at a point where I needed to grind too much. And I was not into it. Got away safely. I know Zigzagoon is here. Where is it? I really Pokemon does take a while to get going. Alright. They're gonna keep throwing Shinx at me. I'll just do this. I don't want to get too powerful. How long can you make the save time? I don't know, does it- isn't, like, saving a lot of data the same amount of time every time, or am I just not sure about it? I don't know. Gen 5 also had saving a lot of data, didn't it? Yeah, and some Pokémon do have type changes. Man, they really don't want to give me that, do they? Okay, only Gen 4, was it? Poochie! It looks so mean, but it's just a little puppy. I'll go and take it out. I'm gonna have to run back to the Pokemon Center. This is fine. The game clearly wants me to have a Shinx, but I use Shinx every time. 
I've used, I've also used Shinx and other third-party DLCs, too. This game probably has an increased shiny rate, yeah. Okay, do that there. Now, is there anything I could grab down here? I know uh, overworld items are a bit different. Antidote, that's fine. A while since I heard that music. I'm not even sure what the last Gen 4 thing I even did was. I think it was like Storm Silver, technically, wasn't it? Last Sinnoh thing I did. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on the shiny odds changing being a thing that guarantees anything. I've played games where the odds are like 1 in 200 and I've seen nothing. And then, uh... I'll play, I'll play like a randomizer and I'll find a full odds onyx at the start or something. I thought it would save time to find uh, a pickup user, but I guess we're getting nothing. I guess I'm just gonna have to move on, because we're not finding anything. Two shinies and Emerald Kaizo. Oh, I... I See, chat? Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Just say that you don't want it, and the game will throw it at you. Oh, critical hits. That was close. 30 Pokeballs. It walks in a zigzag fashion. It is good at finding items in the grass and even on the ground. All right. I'm gonna name you... Scout... One. Cause you're the first one scouting for items. You better have... Gluttony! Oh, What is this luck? Fine, I'll fight trainers. I spy with my little eye a trainer. Never mind, he's garbage. We're getting rid of him. Centret. That boy. Defense curl. Sad bear comes into play. That's right. That's right. The speed hack is very unstable for Heart Gold. I can believe that. As long as it works here, just fine. It's fine. I haven't heard anything about the speed stuff making it crash, so it should be fine. Get rid of Water Sport, because no one ever uses Water Sport. Oh, boo. Can't win. You've messed around with it and it's alright? Okay. Hoo! I'm gonna get an early print plup here. You're darn right hypnosis didn't work, because I got Vital Spirit. Eventually, I'll be able to get an experience share. I don't think the Pokemon variety really picks up until I get to, like, Orberg. Excellent. And this is Platinum, so we have to deal with the extra cutscenes for, like, Looker. Okay, Rat. Every gym leader in this, in this mod has, like, six Pokemon each, so... I'm making sure I'm prepared early. I don't want to make the same mistakes. Let me try the radar here. Just a poochie. Centret. At least if I do get an encounter, I can get in and out very quickly. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Poof, I'm gonna win.
Okay, Growlithe, easy enough. Burmy, send it out. Try Peck, I guess. Yeah, it did crap. Oh, protect. I always forget about Mothum as an evolution to this thing. Mothum is probably one of the most forgettable Pokemon in the entire series. Zigzagoon, send it out. I want to have my starter powered up at the start because, again, the Pokemon I want to use that I can get a little bit ahead, um, they're, they take too long to evolve. So I want to kind of just have them on experience share back up while one Pokemon can carry for a bit. I want to invest in good mons later. All right, let me do this. Yeah, my nature lowers my attack, so I don't know what I expected. Potion, I'll take that. Hi, Lucas. Welcome to the tutorial. Yeah. Uh, it seems like... Okay, the game was kind of slowing down there for a moment. And there he goes. There's the trainer school. Do you know how the trainer school works? Go there, you idiot. Okay. So I couldn't get Zigzagoon. That's unfortunate. Now here's the next thing I know about this game, is that for the next three Pokemon centers, there's gonna be a news crew here. And they're gonna give me free starters. Your trainer, just who we need. Excuse me, Jubilife TV. Fun and Games TV station. Run, run a little promotion. Answer five questions correctly. Receive a prize. Here we go, is Pikachu electric? Yes, he is. Does Kanto region Saffron City have a fighting gym? No. Professor Oak is well-known Pokemon researcher. Is his full name Samson Oak? No, it's not. Right, you are. On the Sevi Islands, there a trainer tower on seven? Excellent. Do you think you can beat me in a Pokemon battle? That's right. We'll see if the answer's correct. Bulbasaur. That Bulbasaur is dead. Send out the Charmander. Yeah, I'll name the Charmander Yo-Yo, don't worry. Squirtle. Squirtle looks so excited to be here, but we're take we're just deleting him. We have a winner. You won the grand prize. One of the three Pokemon I just battled with. Here you go. Here's a Bulbasaur. No. Charmander. One of them could be shiny, I guess. That's always a possibility. Let's go and do this. And I already have a water starter. That's okay. Poor Bergen Floroma. Miracle Seed, Charcoal, and Mystic Water. You have a neutral nature. Uh, Chlorophyll, Blaze, Torrent. Let me just take these off. And I'm gonna put the Mystic Water on King. And there we go, chat. And there we go. Um... Yeah, the speed hack seems a little wonky when there's a lot of NPCs on the screen, so I'll be careful about that. Come on now. We don't need this, because he's bad. We don't need you, because you're Eevee. We used enough, enough Eevees. Bulbasaur. Squirtle. Now we have a Penguin. And a lizard. Isn't that wholesome? Okay. Alright, continuing to advance. 
I want to go get something on the side here. Old rod is a good thing. Take the old rod. And he gives me free 10 dive balls. Nope. And over here... TM Water Pulse. So one thing I know that this game does is you can't sell TMs, but what it does is it gives you 99 of each TM when you get one to kind of just replicate the fact that TMs are infinite in later gens. So early Water Pulse is obviously better than Bubble. So we'll take that. May as well try the old rod. Hang on. Give it a go. Land in a Pokemon. Penguin goes boop boop. Catch Finny on. But I already have water types. Doesn't Finny on require at least good rod, I guess? I'm going to take it out for experience points. Oh, it starts with the tract. Forget about love. Attack. Excellent. Bide. Bide. Nobody uses bide. Wait for experience share, or wait for print fluff or something. Now, first I need to deal with Barry, right? Or rather, this place in general. I guess it should be fine to switch Yo-Yo in once. You go, my Pokemon. School Kid Harrison. Level 8 on the Abra. He's gonna spam Hidden Power. Microphone sound good, chat? I think it sounds good. I'm not sure about the audio, the game audio. It's been too loud the whole time. There we go. Okay, it's all good. Yo-Yo leveled up. Psyduck. Darn it. I need something to fight these water types with. My attack is lowered on my nature, but it's whatever. I'm sure I'll find something. I get, like, Metal Claw when I evolve, but wait, no, that's also bad against water types. What am I saying? Die. There you go. Perfect. He didn't use his items effectively. Okay, let me go back here. Now moving normal speeds. Yo-Yo's still up front, right? Okay, can Ralts do much? Not sure. But it's okay. Going into Orberg, I shouldn't... I should be fine with just my water type. No, it's only gonna be like random NPCs that have water type Pokemon, so I should be able to steamroll them, I hope. Staryu, of course. Ralts is also a Pokemon I use a lot in playthroughs. I don't know if I really want to try and catch one. I'm pretty sure I can catch one early on the northern route. They gotta spam their potions because they're school kids.
Oh, come on. Just imagine how slow this would be otherwise. Now, I don't have to fight Barry here. Talk to him. Obtain TM10s. Now I got hidden power. So I think I'll just teach this. This might be something good. Uh, find this. Nope. Place Growl. It feels more normal with the speed up, you think? Scope Lens. All right. Excellent. Perfectly fine for trainers. Blah, 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 blah. Someone here tell me about hidden power. Oh, wait, what? Free Pokemon egg. Hidden power, it's power and type determined by the Pokemon strengths. Okay. Hidden power is ghost type. Okay. I could use that, maybe. And here's the lad who's gonna make the other screen actually useful. And it comes installed with every single app from the beginning. Lucky us, but we don't really need them all. Hang on. Let me just check here. Where's the Kecleon one? Let's change the color. Let's make it blue. I should probably put Hidden Power on Charmander too. The only one that's really useful in the context of a stream is probably this one. So let's just use that. Hidden power is dragon type. You see that? Charmander has the hidden power of a dragon for when it grows up. Trying its little best. I'm pretty sure the Kecleon app is like, what, one of those event-only Poke- po like, Pokemon- or Pokewatch apps? I'm not sure. Normally you have to run around the town talking to clowns, but now I don't have to do that, so that's cool. Fight yourself, Charmander. It's obtained by transferring a Kecleon after having transferred into Snorlax. That's very specific. Oh well, I guess. Alright, I'll switch out Yu-Yu in a second, get to level 8. Paralyze heal. Let me try the old rod here. I want to see more Pokemon variety if I can. Magikarp. We are not seeing more Pokemon variety. It's got Tackle, level 10. Can't escape. It's too menacing. Ascending King. Cart means business. It's also got flail. There you go. Smoke screen. Nah. Oh, weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Weak looking trainer who's got two starters. Oh, forgot to swap yo yo. But it looks like Intimidate would activate anyway. This is fine. Penguin and Lizard Friend on an adventure. Yeah, Wesker and RE1 would just be like, Stop it! Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Oh, 
I want that prim plop. I find that you can also very quickly exhaust all the trainers. Hmm, um, actually, let's just head towards... Actually, no, there are double battles when I go that way, so let me keep... Oh, egg hatching. Ah, uh, okay. Chat, I thought this was supposed to be a togepi. It can be any baby. Okay, interesting. Any random baby mon. Naughty, plus attack, water absorb, air cutter. How am I gonna evolve this thing? I don't think- I- I forget this thing even- was even a Pokemon, if I'm being honest. I already have a water type, I don't need that. Need a Remo Raid, I know, but... I'll beat you with the magic heart my dad gave me. Oh, you poor child. Let's keep switching here. Naughty's bad anyway. What am I doing? Hidden power this. Fixing my headphones here. Wondering what that noise was. I think it was the neighbor's dog or something. But you guys can't hear it. I can barely hear it. They're Pokemon I got from my dad. Who gave you your first Pokemon. Your first Pokemon is the one with the most memories, I think. Let me run back and heal. This is nice so far. It's nice to actually be in the game. Instead of, uh, like, uh, I think at this point, if I was playing at normal speed, I'd just be finishing up the catching tutorial. Or in this case, battle. Let me keep checking up here. May I please trouble you for a battle? Alright, this battle definitely got to get me to level... Ah. Uh, level 16, but... Yo-Yo can do this yourself. Burn. If that kid can get his Magikarp to level 20, he's gonna be a real trainer. 20 is pretty absurd for a Pokemon like Magikarp, but... Or, sorry, Gyarados, but... Actually, you know what? This is fine. This is perfect for Yo-Yo. Everything in Gen 4 is brutally slow. 10. Bellsprout. Alright, I'll let Yo-Yo keep doing this, because it's all grass types. Metal Claw. Now we can beat Brock. Or in this case, Roar, whatever the heck his name was. Badoo. Charmander just doing its best out here. It pays to take a look around because there's earlier... There's TMs in different spots, as you can see with Water Pulse there. That's a Wooper. We don't need to fight a Wooper, though. Zubat. Expert Belt. Oh, come on. Go ahead and do this. TM Rock Tomb. Need that against against Rourke, though. Old Rod. Yeah, I'm using a patch that increases the speed of uh, animations, movement, and text. Barboach! Let's get him.
I don't really want to catch Barboach, though. After this, I'll put Penguin back up front. Yo-Yo is actually pulling her weight here. Sorry, but this baby's getting dropped off. And over here, there's no rock smash stuff. I, apparently they moved a lot of the rock, like uh, HM stuff around in this game. Team Galactic currently providing assistance at Valley Windworks. As part of Team Galactic, we've instructed to guard this path. Come back when we're finished. So normally you need rock smash to get to this point, right? So instead, they just put them in the way. If that's taken care of, let's head towards Orberg. Let's also try the radar here. Oh, hey, it's Ralts. And Rourke's badge lets you use it. We chain in now. Chaining probably much faster with this stuff going on. It's Ralts, it's super dead. Let me just get a free shiny right off the bat right quick, chat. How have I still... How have I still not activated? Come to think of it, since, um, the shiny odds are like, what, 1 in 500, I guess chaining really bumps that up a lot once you get a good one going, huh? Penguins evolving, chat. I chained a quite a few shinies back in the day. I thought it was very fun. I hope that's kind of like in the remake in some way. Metal Claw, I don't need that now. But actually, you know what? Just in case, I should probably put it over Pound. No reason not to. Uh, I'll go with this. Yeah, Sunkern. I know that you're not al you can't, like, uh, you're not supposed to touch the edges of the grass patch, right? Anyways. I just did that for craps and giggles, it don't matter. Hey, Asprey, tell me you got a little tougher. Do you need to ask? Here we go. Sunkern ruin your chain, as it always does. King is here. He's more like Prince right now. Turtwig. Vengeance shall be mine. Yo, yo, burn that turtle. Berry pack and orange berries. And curse strats. Ooh, that's not gonna help you unless he potions. Oh, he potioned. Oh, and that attack boost is worthless. Poor Barry. Yeah. Turtle dead. Munchlax. I'll swap. Guarantee a level up. No, that's cool though that the baby egg can actually be any baby. I thought it was supposed to be Togepi. So I guess it's like a free odd egg. Same like like crystal in crystal version, I guess. This might the difficulty might seem tame so far, but um, like to give you an idea of how bad it gets, like Rourke's uh, Geodude and Cranidos, which are two out of six Pokemon now, have Thunder Punch and Fire Punch. So uh, yeah, that man is prepared. What do you mean I lost? Uh, and there's experience here, okay. Like, I started this last week, but I quickly ended up in a position where I underestimated the game, and 
I I was stuck pretty much having to level up off a wild Pokemon for like an abysmally long time before I could like get past something. They also, I'm pretty sure that like boss trainers have like better IVs and natures specifically too. Alright, let's see if I can find any different Pokemon here. 40 minutes, not at the first gym yet. It's 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 interesting to think about compared to like Gen 3. Um, how like 40 minutes I'd probably be like at the first gym by now, but <laughs> even with the speed up thing, I'm not. Seems to want to bury. Silk Scarf, alright. Many Pokemon have increased base stats. I know that some Pokemon have type changes. I know that Charizard's Dragon Fire. Ooh, Cubone! I already know what ground type I want to use though. There we are. Endure. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm told it gets extremely brutal later on. So, that's why my starter is getting powered up. And I guess Yo-Yo is the backup starter, too. There are quite a few Pokemon I want to pick up in Orberg, though. I know I can. Um... I guess I'll do that double battle, but yeah, I'm trying to see what's here. Chat, do you think I'll see a shiny? Probably could. Tyranitar. I don't think I really want to make the grind level 55 for that, nah. I get my get up and go from my Pokemon. Here we go, Krikatot and Zubat. No, I got that list you sent me, Yo-Yo. Alright, yeah. Took me a little bit to set up here today, but it's all good. My, my sleeping has still been horrible. Like, I actually got some good news about stuff earlier this week. And, uh, like, some crap I've been dealing with all year long is now sorted out. But, like, I, my, I've just been trying to fix my sleeping schedule, but I can't. I just keep tossing and turning, and then I wake up late, and I'm like, ah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's not good. Don't die. You died. I'll never find a shiny. Maybe with increased speed. Oh, great. Baby has to come out. Whatever. I don't know. Air cutter? <laughs> you died. Whoops. The baby is just pretty much a meat shield, sadly. Now, chat, I know we gotta go over this every time I stream Pokemon, but if this was a Nuzlocke, I'd put Nuzlocke in the title. I've never done that before, so I don't know why the assumption is that this is, this is a Nuzlocke. No. There we go. So sad. Dead. I need to go back and heal now. <laughs> Got away safely. Baby stole that experience points. Just for that, he's going in the bin right now. There we go. <laughs> How don't I check the map instead? Bye-bye, baby. Leave. <laughs> Is there anywhere else I can check right now? I don't think. We're just heading to the cave now. Before I challenge the gym, I'll test my strength on you. Yeah, Primplop's uh, nature is timid. Okay. I think I could have caught one of these at some point. It feels like my luck for encountering, po like, a uh, new Pokemon as in, like, newly placed Pokemon has been really bad so far. We've seen a lot of Starlies for some reason. And he hit five times. Making pizza? Yo, that sounds delicious. I want pizza. Machop dead. Boop. 
Bubble Beam, okay. Bubble Beam is 7,500, Water Pulse is 6,100, so... I should keep both for PP, though. I think I'll get rid of Peck. Peck is kind of worthless, even if I had... Like, I don't have Stab off of it, it's just worthless. I'd rather just use Water Pulse in any situation. Oops. Found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. I got a nifty gym badge from the gym leader. Okay, Psyduck in this. I better take out the duck first. I don't want it to use like water, a water move on yo yo. Now I'm hungry for pizza. Chat's talking about pizza. Uh, Bubble Beam on Spiro, Ember on that. Psyduck having water moves, you never know. They grow up so fast. Okay, Cubone, easy. Bubble Beam, that friend, and just Ember. Burn the skull after we soak it. Oh, I guess you get Bite. I'll take that over Scratch. Not sure if that'll help. By the way, chat, I guess since this is another double battle, I can show the thing where if you press Start in a double battle, it displays the HP as, like, numerical values. Most people don't know that, and I only learned that recently. It's cool. Hmm. Anyways, Water Pulse... Azuril just doesn't want to be here. Like, he comes out to battle by himself, and look at that face. He's just like, mm, I, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> he does not want to be there at all. Poor Azuril. Okay. Let me go get what's over here. There's a Cubone. Soothe Bell. Let me try Old Rod here. I'm trying to check the Pokemon variety. I think Speed Up ha helps with that a lot, but, you know, my my own luck stat isn't. Core Fish. That's cool. I don't expect to use anything I fish up, though, because I, I started with the Water type. What happened to Azuril? It died. It's super dead. Badoof. So old rod Pokemon are locked at level 10, from what I remember someone saying. I could try the radar right quick. I'm pretty. It has to be recharged. Wait, what? Oh, I have to be off the bike. That's right. It is nice that they give you the radar at the start. That's a cool idea. I am genuinely looking forward to chaining <laughs> in the remake. I don't know why. Brings me back to all those terrible times I spent just getting a shiny I never used. No, I don't want it. I don't want a Starly. Level 19 is good. Now let's head inside. I keep missing the door. Sparkling new Poke Watch. There's still a new trainer. It's all good. Let me make a gift of Hidden Machine to you. So I think he says there's less Rock Smash blocks now. Hidden Machine short for Rock Smash. Pokemon and Rock Smash can smash boulders as long as you have the gym badge. Though there aren't that many small boulders to smash these days. Maybe it'll, it'll be good in battle instead. And we can immediately go downstairs and look for new Pokemon. Let's do that. TM Flash. Old Rod here. Okay. Landed a Pokemon. And Smash Carp. 
in chat, if you didn't see it, we got new Teddy Ursa emotes today, which is great. Gomi drew quite a few of them. Hang on, I'll, I'll put them on screen for YouTube audience again. Let me see here. There we go. If you're subbed, you can spam these teddy bears right here. They are awesome and I love them. <laughs> I was spamming them in Dylan's chat yesterday. We got little we got little stars bear as well. We're gonna spam that when we play more Resident Evil. There we go. Just had to show the bears again, they're great. <laughs> Didn't mention tears. Yeah, I think I was gonna um since I don't really use the additional tiers for, for stuff, I was probably going to just, like, like have her make uh, shiny variants for higher tiers. That could be fun. So you can get shiny teddy bears if you want. I gotta jump. I gotta make the jump here. Can I run away? Damn well, better be. Mm. I don't want to use repel. Made it. Hello, Riolu. I don't think I want a Riolu, though. I'm already going to have a steel type. And probably another one. And that's a good TM to get my hands on. I try Old Rod again. Magikarp again. That's unfortunate. Okay. No, I'm on. I'm honestly loving this speed up feature. It is great. Kind of a shame that apparently it's unstable for uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. I want to use it there. It's gonna spoil me so much though, but it's fine. It's Sinnoh specifically that's kind of slow though. I don't remember it being that bad for the Gen Two remakes. Let's go fight some trainers. There's Riolu again. Unless that thing is yellow, I don't really want it. But they do give me a Soothe Bell, so that's good. Hang on, let's level up Yo-Yo, get Charmeleon. We trainers accept challenges anywhere, it's what we do. Hang on, I just realized, yeah, I just wanted to check the stream health. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. I almost just accidentally closed down everything like an idiot. For those new to the stream, uh, Sunday is normally Pokemon Day. I try and do, like, the Pokemon playthroughs on this day, just to keep things more organized. We're gonna be doing more Resident Evil in Castlevania this week, for sure. Yeah, I got the Moomin plush, it's here. Um, I have to reap- I have to, like, uh, set up a bit for Resident Evil 2 again. Oh. I thought I could be faster. I'm an idiot. I was, like, half paying attention. It's fine. It is fine. Right after we did Leon A on stream, like, the save data, like, corrupted or something, so I have to replay it to unlock Claire B again. Excellent. And Yo-Yo died again. Cause Bulldoze is a move. I want to do Resident Evil 4 again soon. I want to do, like, all the Ada modes and all that stuff, too. I think I might take a break from tank control RE for that. Then we can go back to like RE3. Oh right, water absorb. Speed fell. Hidden power time. The whooper is down. I'm gonna I should make a save, because now I'm paranoid that things are gonna crash. First, oh, oval stone. If I got Happini from that egg, I guess that would have been good. Anyways, we're here now. And there's the people that I think they're going to give me Hoenn starters now. Might as well get them. Okay. Hoenn region, yes. It's true there are reporters named Tabby and Guy. No. Least of the contest, no. Where do you come from? Yes. Yes? Yes town? I've never heard of that place. I said Lis Lisa, it's Lysia. Can you beat me in battle? Yes, find out. 
all the teddy bears. I'd like to post a stream schedule again, but things have been too inconsistent in, like, the last month or so. It's finally been clearing up. I got that upstairs room all set up, too. Hang on a second, let's go. It's only Mudkip, not worried. Unleash the power of the dragon, yo-yo. Ouch. Yo-yo's not strong enough to take down a level 10. We're gonna catch some new Pokemon in just a little bit now, finally. Torchic. Sending Yo-Yo again. Look at that little chicken. Yeah, um, my brother's moved out, so I turned one of the bedrooms upstairs into, like, this little lounge room. I've got, like, a huge beanbag chair in the corner. And I, I got a little TV stand set up with all my consoles, and the, the shelves are just, like, lined with the... Or, sorry, the walls are lined with shelves now with all my weeb stuff. It's so cozy up there, and I love it. Anyways, let's take free Hoenn starters. I'm mainly just taking them. Like, I already have these two I'm using, but... Maybe one of them could be shiny. You never know. Okay, let's find out. Gentle. Hasty. Brave. Wow! Okay. Speed boost Torchic. Okay, Unburden. Wow, great hidden ability. Another Mystic Water. Charcoal. Miracle Seed. Alright, let's put these in the bin. Dump them. Now, this game gives you, like, every starter towards the beginning, I guess because they want you to have the option to choose. You can quite easily ignore them if you want, but it does seem kind of weird how it throws Eevee and, like, nine starters at you, plus the one you pick at. This, plus the Sinnoh starter you obviously choose. And we got Charmander because he's a cutie. New Pokemon Snap makes me remember how cute Charmander is. Like, you just see that little friend, and you're like, I, I want to pat it on the head. Okay, before anything else, let's go check up here. Now, because I get the bike early, they place this NPC here, so that I can't, like, sequence break. Wild Fampy chat. I want an elephant. But we're gonna have to check for a good one. Is Mina here? I na I wanted to name it after Mina, right? Let me try that. Uh, let's throw a cool Pokeball at it. Probably should. Darn it. Got it. It is strong despite its compact size. It can easily pick up and carry an adult human on its back. I don't think an adult human could fit on that thing's back, because it's a little tiny. It's a baby. There we go. Gentle, plus special defense, minus defense. Sand Veil... Okay, not pick up, but... Um, I think I'll just keep this one. I caught it in the dive ball and everything. Let me see now. Its other ability is pick up, which is just... Probably at best, it would just give me extra potions. So I'll put the experience share on you. Okay, that was fast. There's a pony. Hi, Mina, I just caught your elephant. I'm not allowed to have pickup in this time, apparently. Yeah. There's no chance of rare candies unless the pickup user is like level 20, at least level 21, I believe. Uh oh, I guess need.
Ugh, almost didn't mute that. That was a painful one. Hard stone, we'll take that. Early Rhyhorn. Yeah, this is where it really starts giving you some Pokemon to choose from. Come on now. There we go. Hmm. You go back in. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go, you're leveling up. Learn Rollout. Place Growl. This is already a decent team so far, but there's other Pokemon I'm gonna grab. You'll see. Like, I'm probably- I'm gonna be filling up most of the team pretty soon, but... May as well get level 16, let's do that. Oh, never mind, let's die. Let's just die. This is fine. Remember, I'm trying to super prepare for Rourke. That's where the game is really gonna start to bully. There we go. 86. We go over here now. I don't think NPCs can have shinies, no. Okay, let's go grab some other mons. Um... Let me save, actually. I want to make sure I get a good nature. Hang on, chat. Now it's time to take a stretch break. We're saving a lot of data. Please be patient. There we go. Saving a lot of data today. There we go. Okay. Saved. Hi, my name's Steven Stone, champion from the Hoenn region. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Orberg Mines sometimes discovers rare stones when they mine for coal. I wanted to be here to see if they make discoveries in person. You have a Pokedex, so you can search a Pokemon? Let me think. I can help you with that. This is my favorite Pokemon, Beldum. Raise it. Okay. Now, what do I name a state a space rock chat? What do I name it? Hmm. I didn't really give much thought to this. Space rock, just space rock. Hmm. No, 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 that wouldn't work. I'm looking around my room for name ideas. Metroid. <laughs> Samus. Oh, there's a space thing. You now what, fine, I'll just call it Samus. Samus is metallic in the suit. <laughs> no, that's not right. Okay, let's see how bad it is. Complete. You want to talk about stones? Talk to me anytime. Hardy, neutral. Clear body. Okay. I'm gonna just, uh... Since it's a gift Pokemon, we're gonna do this. I want to try and at least get a decent nature. Chat, what's the best nature possible for Metagross? Lax. 
That's not a that's not a good one, is it? Brave or adamant? Jolly or adamant? Rockhead. Okay, so clear body and rockhead. I think an attack boosting one would be good, yeah. Lax is kinda eh. Let's go again. Just name it Samus every time. Metal space thing. Gotta nickname it every time. Careful. Yeah. You know, chat, I haven't I, I was wondering about something the other day. You know how Poker Rust is a thing that happens when you encounter wild Pokemon? Is it possible to get a gift Pokemon that has it? Oops, what am I doing? Like, can you get a gift Pokemon that has Poker Rest from the start, or is it only generated from wild encounters? Okay. Let's do it. Never thought about that. Docile. Docile! Not getting good ones. It's only a chance to obtain it after a battle. Don't want to check the Pokedex. Okay, let's try this again. I've never actually gotten Poker Rust to happen, ever. Bashful. Man, I keep getting neutral natures. I just wanted, like, an attack plus one, really, and I'll settle for that. The odds of, of like, getting Poker Rust are, like, uh, 1 in 20,000. Dylan managed to get it when we were kids. He got it in, like, his Pearl version, and then he just sent me some. Nowadays, though, you can easily get it from, like, Wonder Trade and all that, whatever their kids are calling it now. Okay. Lax. Ugh. Man, come on now. It's di it works differently in the Gen 2. I didn't even know it was in Gen 2 for the longest time. I almost said no to it. Nickname, speedrun. Modest, oh, you're making fun of me now. You're making fun of me. Looks like it has, yeah, pretty bad one. In Gen 2, it's locked until you get to Goldenrod. Oh yeah, I can't technically spawn until you reach Goldenrod for some reason. I'll get a shiny before I get an adamant one. Wait, maybe I should reverse, reverse psychology of the game. It sure would be terrible if I got a shiny Beldum chat. Wouldn't that be terrible? Wouldn't that be awful if I got a shiny? Hasty. Oh my goodness. Come on now. I just want something that boosts attack. That's all. Shiny but modest? I'll still use it. Can't make me not use it. Bold. Bold, chat! <laughs> Man, this is... This is just insulting me now. I definitely am not getting repeats of the same natures. It was supposed to be a quick and easy job. Get a strong beldum. But little did he know, 
It wouldn't work out for him. Bashful. Bashful! Okay. Bold and bashful. It's a Squidward painting. <laughs> this was supposed to be easy. I'm not even getting, like, I'm just trying to get a decent one, not the best one. <laughs> I just want something that buffs attacks since I, like, I can save right in front of him and easily get it, right? This will pay off in the long run, so... Naughty. Okay. I lose special defense, but I'm a tank anyway, and I have clear body. I think I'll keep this one. There we go. That's good. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to catch was a trap inch in the mines. So, apparently in this game, Flygon has a different type. In this game, it's Bug Dragon. So, it's gonna be separate from my Dawn fan, who's the ground type. But I am- Charizard's gonna be fire- or er, dragon type, but whatever. Different enough. Geodude! Uh, I don't remember mods. Did Kuda want to be named after the Trap Inch? I don't recall. It's a small chance of finding Trap Inch in the mine. I mean, Flygon is clearly some kind of dragonfly, so I get the logic. Isn't she? I think she's like sick today or something. Oops. Okay, let's go. Now, chat, next question. What's a good nature for, um, Flygon? Oopsie. Or rather, uh... Rather, um, is Flygon a special attacker or a physical attacker? I don't know. I've never really considered that, because I never really use one. Jolly is probably best. I think it's kind of mixed. Okay. Anyways, Charmeleon. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, Dragon Breath. Okay. I guess I don't need Hidden Power anymore. If I have Dragon Breath. I always relearn it later. Fire type. Blaze still. Okay. Yo yo, grow up. The Beldum's naughty nature, yeah. Bug Buzz. Yeah, I probably could get Bug Buzz. Who knows? Muscle Band. Okay. Let me go ahead and just... I'm just gonna use King for the mines. Then again, I really should just bite the bullet and let Yo-Yo level up some more. At least a teensy bit. Earth Power and Bug Buzz would be good. Yeah, but I'm not Ground-type anymore. If Flygon's Bug Dragon. Wismer in the mines. That must make it really annoying to go in here. Messing with you. D-Pulse. Hey, there it is. Um, it's using buy. I didn't buy more Pokeball variety. Whatever, I'm gonna just try one for the heck of it. It's using buy. There we got it. It's bug ground already. 
Mexican, a conical pet in desert sand and lies in wait at the bottom for prey to come tumbling down. Okay, let's hope I don't have to trash this one. Let's name it that. She wanted me to use it. Special defense minus attack. Uh. So. Hmm. Yeah, I probably shouldn't use this one, should I? <laughs> Remember, it gets hard later on, so we want a good one. Bad, bad nature, huh? Escape rope. There we go. Alrighty, then just a quick battle on my break. Go, 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 go. That reminds me, chat. I was playing more of new Pokemon Snap. Sorry, like, hiccuping now. There we go. Rock Polish. Metal Claw. There we go, he's dead. Anyways, what was I saying? I was playing new Pokemon Snap. And, um... I was doing, like, the desert level. I was grinding that one. And there's this really cool little detail that happens. Um... If you throw, like, a, an apple and a Flygon picks it up at the start of the stage, later in the stage, depending on which, which path you take, um, the Flygon will, like, drop the apple into a pit where some trap inch are, and it's really cute. Wismer. No. There we are. Uh, yeah, yo, yo, you can just, uh, ban that guy. <laughs> He's just spamming questions about YouTube videos that has nothing to do right now. There we go. Yeah, once is a warning, but three times in a row, goodbye. That's just rude, intentionally. There we go. Anyways, Metal Claw. Metal Claw, Attack Rose. There we go. I'll send out King for this part. I gotta try and catch another one. This is Wholesome Bear Stream indeed, yeah. There we go. I have no idea about Gyarados. I don't really want to use a Gyarados. Gyarados is cool though, I like it. Anyways, let me talk to you. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using hidden power or hidden move, rock smash. Blunder block in your way. Smashes. Evolution stone. Which one is it, chat? I don't know if I need any of these at all. Don't know? Then I'll tell you. It's a sunstone. Okay, he just picks for me. I don't really need it, so I'll hand it over to you. Maybe you can make Pokemon evolve like Eevee. I guess I get Espeon quicker that way. He, he gives you whatever you pick on that list. Rare Bone. Okay, works for me. I need to go back and heal. Go back and fight more of the trainers here. I can get a Sun Flora, yeah. Gyarados not type change. Let's see if I can... Oh, I missed. Okay, let's escape. There we go, chat. Yeah, chat. Streaming's fun. I like interacting with chat a lot. I like seeing the teddy bear spam. I'm trying I, I'm a I'm trying to be a bit more blunt about people who just intentionally ignore the rules though, because like, you know, that's not cool. That's not nice. Hey, it's that little guy. There we go. Like for YouTube viewers that aren't familiar with Twitch, when you enter Twitch chat, like uh, a big list of rules appears in your face. And you have to click OK on that to be like, yes, I understand them. But then people to show up and they don't want to understand them. There we go. At first I feel bad, but now it's like, if you're just gonna intentionally ignore that wall of text there, well then, BAM! You have read the terms and conditions, that's right. <clears throat> Pardon me, I can't talk. Anyways, breaks the rules. Am 
My favorite part is when I'm the one that kicks them, and then they send me a message saying that one of my mods is, is abusing power. And I'm like, no, dog, that was me. <laughs> you broke the rules, buddy. You go on. There we go. I'm like half coughing in the middle of that sentence. Hang on a second. I need a drink. I thought the game froze for a second. Anyways, I'm looking for another trap inch. Excellent. Here for bear spam, hell yeah. 68. Bam. Excellent. Well, you always think it's common sense for people to not be weird, but it gets- they, they get weird. Chat, I actually got- that reminds me of a story from, like, last week. Like, there was this one dude, um... Like, we were having technical difficulties during, like, a Resident Evil stream, and some dude kept trying to, like, like, force a joke, being like, Oh, he's having technical difficulties, he's softlocked IRL. And, like, it was so painfully unfunny, but they kept forcing it. <laughs> And then I tell them to stop once, and then they're gone forever, because I'm a mean streamer, chat. I'm a mean streamer. Hang on a second. I'm gonna hope Bite doesn't kill. Okay, good. There we go. Let's not die. You have a soft lock idea? Oh, that's good. Send it right to upyourbutt at gmail.com. <laughs> mean streamer talking about teddy bears <laughs> that thing killed me now I don't really have a way to inflict status conditions right now do I let me see if I can send out mina to do something here welcome to the mean stream no you think I'm joking <laughs> only bad people like teddy ursa Okay, I'm gonna try the dive ball. Because I like the blue ball there, it's cute. Caught. What is the odds of, um... The screen looks a bit weird to me all of a sudden. Okay, we're just gonna call this one Kuda as well and pretend the other one doesn't exist. There we go. And now we compare. Naughty, attack plus, special defense minus. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Not bad. It's alright. I think I'll go with this one. And we're gonna delete the other one. Pretend it's not real. Not bad, but Flygon is speed. But didn't that... No, no, that's special defense, not speed. SPD is, um, is special defense. What's that outside? Oh, okay, just people walking by, like, carrying something. Alright then, let's keep it. Two levels lower and it's got more attack power. Alright then, let's throw it in the bin. The old one, that is. Excellent. Level 9 one. Okay, Rourke's at the gym now. Oh, wait a second, I gotta go heal. Now, I wonder if these two alone, or Charmeleon and Prinpluck, will be enough for the gym. Let's see if I can get one more level. We should also check the upper route a bit more. There's still more trainers I can fight in the, in the mines. I've used up a lot of this of the the trainers. There's not much left. Ember. Okay, 17. Breathe fire on that lad. I guess I can burn and paralyze with Charmeleon, but that's not consistent enough to rely on for catching Pokemon. 
I'm using a speed up thing or a speed up patch. Gen 4, more like Gen 1, 0.4 speed. <clears throat> that would have been funnier if I didn't like cough in the middle of that or hold back a cough. I need a drink. Throat dry. Imagine if I just found a shiny trap inch now. Ugh, I'm good. Just a frog in my throat there. I'm gonna fight the trainers here in it, here down in the mines. Either way, I want the extra experience points. Okay, perfect. Your pizza done? Excellent. Met Mama Chop on Route 207. Hint, hint, go catch one there, Wismer. I didn't need a frog. You let in on a secret. I snuck my Pokemon into work. So what is everyone else doing having them out in the open then? I don't know. It's weird. Burned. Burning Rourke would actually be very good, but I do know damage to most Pokemon. Let's go. You'll find a shiny trap pinch that you found one you're happy with. We'll see. This man was banned from having Pokemon. Only him. That's how it be sometimes. Elephant dead. And mine leveled up. Chat, quick reminder, what level does Vampy evolve? Relu. Okay. Rather, I think I think Beldum evolves at level 20, if I'm not mistaken. Well, now aren't you something? Okay, close to level 18. I think that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna find here. Wouldn't mind a shiny Zubat one day. I've never really gotten a shiny Zubat, but that'd be cool. Use a shiny Crobat eventually. Unless you're playing Fire Red Leaf Green, of course, in which case that's extra bad. Can't get Crobat unless you have the National Dex. It'll try to evolve, but it'll fail every time. Internet says 25. 25, we talking about Fampy? Alright. It's only it only applies to Chansey and Golbat in Fire Red Leaf Green. You can max out their friendship, but they if they'll try to evolve and they'll just fail. It's unlikely to happen with Chansey, really, because no one really gets Chansey in a casual playthrough, but I think like a decent amount of kids would probably try Golbat, thinking they can evolve it. Thank goodness they they stopped doing that forever. And Heart Gold Soul Silver, you could just as soon as you get the Pokedex, you could just have someone from Diamond version trade you a Turtwig in the game. Oh yes, that's what I want. And the game just kicks off from there. Now then. I mean, I'm probably going to get a better dragon move down the line. I kind of don't want to ditch these three moves because they might be useful later. But I'm not really super effective damaging dragons, so I'll get rid of this for now. I don't even get stabbed from it until I evolve anyway. Okay, let's go. Participating? Yes, you are. Spam teddy bears to participate. I got a Moomin plush. That's what I got. I probably should mention with those Teddy Teddy Ursa emotes. Um, I commissioned Gomi for most of them, but the one that has Teddy Ursa with the stars outfit. Hang on, let me show it again, cause they're cute. Yeah, the one the stars outfit. That was a gift from Yo-Yo. That's why Yo-Yo gets another named Pokemon, like all the other mods anyway. We're getting a couple more. I had an idea for one of a Teddy Ursa. That's like uh, munching on popcorn. We can spam it while you're while you're watching me uh, get destroyed by the game, or while we're watching cutscenes. I thought that sounded like a cute one. There we go. Here's hoping we can unlock some more emote slots. Um, 
I think Dragon Rage should be pretty good. Let's go for it. But maybe I should spend some money first, actually. Let's do that. What can I even buy at this stage in the game? Wow. Crap. Better buy some of these. You unlock more emote slots by having more uh, subs. Buy some netballs. I'm gonna lose my stuff anyway, so might as well spend my money. I think I need, like, what, to reach 400 subscribers to, like, um, unlock another slot? Alright, let's do it. King and Yo-Yo carrying this team right now. Rage. Yep, almost kills. But speed is harshly fallen. I still have the experience share on. Wanna do that? Okay, Omanite, don't have grass moves. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, that's on YouTube, I have that many. Excellent. Kabuto's coming out. Why does he float? He's the one that looks like a Metroid chat. Unironically. Look at him. He's just floating. Why? Now I understand why you decided to do that. No, no, no. That's followers. Followers is different from, like, uh, paid subscribers on Twitch. Only those who want to win can challenge a gym. It'd be pretty cool if everybody who followed me could please subscribe. Like, gosh. Do I have to do everything myself? Yeah, that'll, that'll convince them. Yo, yo, you're destroying these poor Pokemon. How do you feel about that? Destroyed. Oh, look, someone subscribed. It's about time. Gosh, kept me waiting. <laughs> Bite. Level 15 on the little elephant. Oh, this is humiliating. Even if uh, Fanfi did had pickup, I wouldn't be able to really use it because I'm using the experience share. Let's go. Hi, Vampy. Got teddy bears. Alright, let's see. I should be able to trounce him with Dragon Rage. This should be fine. Um... I don't have berries, that's right. This is Orbert, Pokemon Gym. I'm the, I'm the Drock Gym Leader, let's go. It's fighting time, chat. He's got six mons. Okay, so this nose pass, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go for Thunder Wave, so I wanna get rid of it fast. Oh, thank goodness. Bond Sly. That's a baby, there's no way it's got more than 40. Oh, it's got more than 40. Stealth Rock, we're dead. Okay. Unfortunately for him, I'm not Charizard, so I lived. Geodude. Let's keep going. Nice. It's probably gonna... Uh-oh. Hmm. What? I missed? Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. Let me see if Mina can finish this off. Get the experience for it. Good job, little elephant. Okay, now Onyx. I should be safe to just spam Bubble Beam now. Only thing I'm worried about now... Okay, maybe I can actually use Sand Veil here. Okay. 
Excellent. Sandstorm rages. I'm worried. He's gonna send out Kranidos and it's gonna have Thunder Punch and I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah, the Ace Pokemon have seals on them in this game. Okay, can I one-shot it, please? Oh, yes! There we go. This was almost really bad. I got really lucky during this fight. Flail, now we're good. Larvitar. What does this even have? Think you can take down the next Pokemon? I was using Protect. Sandstorm does give special defense to rock types in Gen 4. That's right. I think that was the intention. But I still managed to kill Kranidos. That's good. What? That can't be. My buffed up Pokemon did it. We did it, chat. That was a smooth first try. That's right. TM76s. To put in perspective how, like, um slow the other version was that I tried last week. I think it was around the three hour mark that I got to Rourke. Like, actually just got to him. Isn't that right? This really, I, this, this hack is gonna spoil me. It's gonna spoil me for all this speed up stuff. But it's okay. He just gave me Stealth Rock, that's right. Maybe I'll be setting up with it. And... Am I close to getting any additional level ups here? 473. Okay. Let's get Yoni to level 20 and then I'll put King back up front. Alright, next stop, Eterna. Yo-Yo's gonna be MVP. Oh, hang on. All right, he's going. Yo-Yo's gonna have to carry through past Gardenia. Gardenia? Garden I don't know. It's it, Her name sounds not real. Is that a real name, chat? Are there, are, are there any Gardenias in chat? Olive Gardenia. You've been waiting forever to use that joke. We've only been playing really like an hour and a half on this session. Which means that almost a half hour was technical difficulties at the start. I love streaming. I love waking up absurdly late because of sleeping troubles, spending a bunch on technical difficulties, and then I get to mildly enjoy Pokemon. It can be a real name if I want it to. Just trying to see what Pokemon I can grab. Oh, goody, it's you. Yeah, it's, it is fine. I had a few technical difficulties with, like, the thing not recording. And, like, the first penguin I picked at the start of today, it had an, it had it had awful stats and an awful nature. And I was like, I think I might as well just reset. All right, let's go here. Now we're going to beat up these dudes. But you know what makes things better, chat? When we spam Teddy Ursus in the in the chat there. Teddy Ursus are heckin' cute. He's gonna snubble with me. Um, uh, let's try taking out Glameow. Game is made faster due to a, a little patch that comes with Renegade Platinum. Increases text speed, movement speed, animation speed. It's good. I like it. Look at all them Teddy Ursus. I really like the Resident Evil one. Thanks for it, Yo-Yo. It's gonna be good since we've been marathoning the RE games. I like it. Okay, Dragon Rage time now. I was thinking of still also, um... Even though I've played Resident Evil 1, like, uh... I played the remake twice and uh, the original twice. I wanted to go back and play Director's Cut. At some point, like, we'll take a break from it, obviously, to give a more variety, but there's an arrange mode which changes up the camera angles. Um, let me see. And it has different item placements. I think that could be fun. And we can also make fun of the butt trumpets. That's a fun little thing to do. He gave me a fashion case. 
Maybe I should eventually get another Resident Evil Teddy Ursa, but we need more slots for that. Chop chop, audience. <laughs> hey, look, Ralts. Bite. Munch and crunch. Maybe one day I'll have animated emotes. They gave, like, it's a, like a newer thing, but they have, like, animated emote slots, but I can't, like, um... I don't have any animated emotes. Miracle Seed didn't already have a bunch of those. Hey, wait a second. Isn't that lady there supposed to battle me? Let me check that in a second. Animated bears, that would be great. You did it, yo-yo. Level up mine a bit more, then we'll put the experience share on someone else. Yeah, you are supposed to battle. What kind of person are you to be drawn here by flowers? Gushing about Teddy Ursa is fun, chat. Because Teddy Ursa is cool. Hidden power ghost type. Technically, there's a ghost inside all of us, so we all have hidden ghost powers if you think about it. <laughs> That's one of those, like, 3 a.m. thoughts. No wonder I can't sleep anymore. Yeah, Renegade Platinum's pretty cool. I, I just definitely, um... Like, I got walled the first time I tried it, because I... I really need to focus on, like, powering up a starter at the start like this. Because as you can see, the Pokemon I want to use, they, they're really weak. I just gotta level them up to evolve them, and I don't stand much of a chance of the stuff that gets in my way. Teddy Ursa is cool as Cub Chew's Chili. Yeah, that bear, is co that bear is chili. It's pretty nice. It's a new Pokemon Snap, and I like it. Put Prim Fluff up front, and we gotta deal with this crap. Hoppip is hopping over here. All right. Taken down on the word go. Now let's see what I can get here. It's the same encounter table though, isn't it? Badoo. Hoppip is always happy to kill me. Hey, hey, let me show off my bug Pokemon. This lad thinks he can take me out. He's packing a worm pull, chat. A worm pull. Moving stuff over there. I'm really not getting anything. Experience, I mean. Yeah, Cup Chew has the large snot bubble hanging out of its mouth. It's like it's like a genetic thing, apparently. Because all of them have it at the same spot. It makes me wonder, is it like, is, is it some sort of, like, organ that's just kind of dangling from its nose? That's kind of concerning. Is it like a video game weak, weak point? There we go. TM Bullet Seed. Well, I'm really going to use that. Before I fight those twins, let me go heal. That's a Weedle chat. Full Aroma Town. And, uh, those are the Johto starters. Do I even want to bother with this? I mean, it's experience points, I guess, but... Here's the first question. Tojo falls within the Johto region? No, it's in Kanto. Ha 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 ha. Violet City, give the Feather Badge? No, it's the Zephyr Badge, you idiot. Orange Apricorn be found? Um, I actually don't know this one. There we go. Actually, you know what? This is boring. Let's just cut to the battle. See? Even she don't care. Even she doesn't care. Only true Pokemon fans will know the answer to these questions. Hi, Dorkazoid. Why can't you just die quickly? Why do you do this to me? 
You're supposed to be a quick and easy battle. Oh my god. What is your problem? Die. You've used them all up, right? Are you done? Because I'm done with you. Dead. Totodile. You just send it out. Totodile got Intimidate? Wow. It's supposed to be a quick and easy job. Kill the crocodile. Excellent. I put King up front and then I gotta deal with this. I should have just Dragon Raged it. Oh, can't you just send it to the PC? Gen 1 had this figured out. Oopsie. All right. No. Mm. Whatever. Let me just put you away for a second so we can get this. Give me a Cyndaquil. Bye, she needs a new job. Alright, chat. Let's see what we got here. First, there's you. Lonely. Oh, you're definitely gonna be lonely. Serene Grace? Wow. It's actually good. Meganium is Grass Fairy in this. Good for Meganium. I'm not going to be seeing one. Bashful. Torrent and Blaze. Just use it. You need a Grass type. No. No, as a matter of fact, just, just for that, now it gets to stay by itself in this box. Extra lonely nature. <laughs> I forgot to get the elephant. No, wrong one. Menus are a little faster too, so I'm accidentally misinputting here. Elephant. Fix that. After all that, I didn't go and heal. Thanks for bits, friend. Okay. Help, trainer. Help my papa. Let me look for Pokemon here first. Hey, it's a Voltorb. No, no, the patch speeds the game up. Mine leveled up. Shockwave. Don't think anyone here can really learn that, though, yet. I think Dragon Rage is gonna help me clear out Mars here. Burn that ridiculous per ugly. Oh, hey, Drifloon. Guess I don't have to wait for Friday now. Chat, what is it that determines uh, Hidden Power's type again? I actually don't remember. Is it like the IVs specifically, or does the personality value matter? Okay. Electrike is normally a radar Pokemon for this place, right? It's IVs. Being able to quickly go through wild encounters like this really helps. Mm. 
Let me get this here. Okay, that's good. They're making me prepared. Magnemite, okay. How do you get Magnezone in this game? Is it still... Do, do you still get Probo Pass and Magnezone from leveling up at Mount Cornet? Uh, or is it, um... Or did they change it? Because I know that Leafeon and Glaceon are changed to Leaf Stone and Ice Stone. Like, the Ice Stone isn't even supposed to be in the game, but it is now. Let me check again. Okay, let's fight the dude, and then go get the key. Don't you dare go in there. Personality values only matter for Wormpole. I think the only other thing that personality values actually affect is um whether or not Mirage Island spawns in Gen 3. Oops. Ha come to think of it, chat, has anyone ever gotten Mirage Island? Because I've never seen it. It sounds like a, one of those made-up things, but uh... I know it can happen, I've just never seen it. Icy Winds. Um, I feel like I should use this. I can always relearn Water Pulse because I have the TMs. Bubble Beam stronger anyway. Uh, this was just for extra PP. I kind of want to keep Metal Claw and Hidden Power just in case. So this is fine. It could help me against Gardenia in a pinch, I suppose. Been to Mirage Island once and only once. Is there even like an action replay code or something to make that spawn? Or rather, Game Shark Gen 3. Now, how it works in Gen 3 is that every day the game generates like a new number for Mirage Island. And if one of the personality values of the Pokemon in your party matches that number, then Mirage Island is spawned for that day. You can use it to catch Why Not, and it also has the lychee berry growing there. Speaking of berries, maybe we should grab these since it's quick. You can get a Why Not that says Mirage Island on it. That's true. I think it also has something to do with the ID number as well, actually. Anyways, Icy Wind hits both of them, so let's try that. Dragon Rage you. Okay, dead. Come to think of it, chat. Um, I always, I, now I'm thinking about it right now, but, um, for Mirage Island, since it resets every day, um, what if you save on Mirage Island and then load it back up another day? Like, does the island just stay there until the game, like, until you, like, you leave the route? I imagine it would have to work like that. What, what am I trying to learn here? Natural Gift. That's a bad one. I would assume it doesn't disappear. Like, what's it gonna do? Just put you on water? Because there's no land on that route otherwise. There we go. There we are. This is why I'm gonna be stuck as a grunt forever. That's right. The works key. And now we got honey. So in this hack, honey works differently. You don't have to wait. You just use it, and the Pokemon appears immediately. And poison, but hang on. Let's do the honey first. I got a C dot chat. And I'm gonna kill it. No six hour waiting probably take a break shortly. We're reaching the two-hour mark. Maybe after I beat Mars. Flowers grow here. 
More vivid flowers. I don't know if there's hidden items here, but... Can he give me more honey? Let me buy a bunch of this to try in different areas. Chat, how do honey trees work again? As in, like, is it based on, air, like, the area? Because I never, it was, it's something I never really bothered with because I found it really stupid and annoying. Watch me try the honey trees and get, like, a shiny male combi or something. Its location, yes. I know that Munchlax is apparently stupid hard to find with it. I got the Windworks key. Um, first let's try Old Rod here. It's based on the tree specifically. Yeah, they're instant. I showed. I showed it a second ago. More floating match carps. I want to check out the grass up here too. Let's try honey here. Uh, is that Wormpole? Yeah, it's Wormpole. Let me summarize the honey trees in Gen 4. There are, imagine the headbutt trees from Gen 2, but you have to wait six hours to find out if a Pokemon falls out. That's honey trees in Gen 4. <laughs> okay, hop it. Munchlax is a 1% chance on only three trees, which and which trees are based on your ID. Really? Why? Gen 4 is really that slow. <laughs> oh, Mareep. Okay, that's cool. Now, I, I just now remembered. I'm pretty sure I chained a shiny Mareep in uh, the Valley Windworks as a kid. It's like pink and cotton candy. I like shiny Ampharos. It's cool. It's pink and it has a blue gem. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go to turn a forest? So normally this bridge is blocked off, but I think uh, the, the the grunts blocking the way are a little further up so that you can get Pokemon here. More Marie. Get a level 23, then put uh, Charmeleon up front again. Weasel. I actually don't know what Shiny Mega Ampharos looks like. Is it that different or still just pink? There we go, it's dead. Now let's head up here a little bit. Hi, Shellos. Thanks for subbing there, friend. We are now one step closer to more teddy bear emotes. TM bulk up. Honey trees in this hack have different tables per route, it seems. Oh, okay, that's that's how it works. Okay, so there's some confusion here. So if I try and go past them, they're just gonna be like, nah, you can't go there. Finish the finish the valley when works first, you chump. that little rodent. It's dead now. Let's try the tree again. Chat, how about I stock up on more honey and we check all the trees along the way? That'd be fun. What was that noise? Oh, it's Pineco. Okay. I'm probably gonna enjoy leisurely completing the Pokedex in the remakes. I like doing that nowadays with the newer games. So I'm relaxing about that. There we go. 32 friends. I have that many friends and they're all gonna help me get Spiritomb, isn't that right? All right, let me go. Weasel. Yeah, 
The extent of being social in Pokemon is like, you use Wonder Trade to get the exclusives, and then you beg your friend to send you, like, their Zamazenta so that you can finish your decks. And then trade it right back. Let's try this. Oh, Caterpie. Okay. I definitely want one of them. Has anyone ever sat down and, like, uh, did, like, a full Pokedex run of, of a third-party DLC? That does sound kind of fun to do. But, like, I don't think it's something I could ever really do on stream. It would take way too long. Anyways, let's Dragon Rage this now. Uh. Oh, oh, okay. I was, tr I thought I pressed up. I must have, like, it, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's one of those things where I think I'd rather do it on my own time. Like, currently I'm recruiting all the Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, and that's been fun, but I don't think I could do that for more than one game on stream per, like, year. There we go, mine is level 20. Okay, Dragon Rage is a pretty good find. I'm gonna need it for Mars for sure. That stupid Perugly is gonna kill me. Collect electricity. I think it's easier to kind of go for Pokedex stuff in a uh, hacks because, like, most of them are like they remove the trading shenanigans. Like, you don't have to worry about version exclusives. You don't have to worry about trading to get Pokemon like Gengar and Alakazam. You can just play the game and and actually explore and find things. You don't have to just explore and get 90% of it and then be like, well, I guess I have to sit here with a link cable for like an hour with my friend because this is boring. Stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back and... Uh, how many Dragon Rages I got left? Seven. Oh, that's more than enough. I'm gonna go for it. one of the Team Galactic's three commanders. No, four commanders. Remember this dude in Platinum? Remember that dude with the purple hair who contributes absolutely nothing, but they made a big deal out of him being in Platinum? I'm trying to create a new world better than this one. Okay, let's go. If I win, you leave. If you win, we Team Galactic will leave. Okay, let's go on it. Maybe that should be a thing. That would be some interesting YouTube content, maybe. To kind of like make like a shortened down edited experience video with like, oh, completing the completing the full Pokedex in this hack or something. You know, that might actually be kind of fun. Maybe I should think about that sometime. It'd probably be like a larger project I'd have to do in my own time, though. Maybe I could use that as an excuse to stream stuff, though. I don't know. Does anyone, does anyone do that? I'm not sure. Anyway, Yen was coming out. Hmm... I'll take you out this Saving Dragon Rage for that other thing. I feel like that'd probably be the sort of thing someone's done before. Just only cover it for games that you don't have to trade for crap in. Sonic Boom. See how much Icy Wind does. Nice. Careful about putting your ideas online, chat. I'll do maybe I'll do it, it'll get popular, and then every other YouTuber will do it. Can you imagine if that could happen? Can't even imagine that happening. Okay, Bronzer, but, uh... She has quite a few Pokemon, don't she? I'm gonna stick with this. She hasn't sent out the Ace yet. This is... Citrus Berry? That's not even your Ace! Oh, wow. Okay. Mars isn't messing around. Ampharos is Electric Dragon in this game? That's an interesting decision. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. Because King's gonna die no matter what, I'm gonna go for the Icy Wind. And see if I can get, get the speed drop. Oh, no. Fake out. Alright, I'll take it. Dragon Rage, let's go. No, facade. Ooh! Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, it's all up to Mina. It missed. Yo. It missed. Oh. Oh. Mina came through. Critical hit. Give that elephant a head pat. It went for hypnosis. That's right, she lost. Whoops, I messed that one up. My, my, lose to a child, will you? No matter, we've collected plenty of electricity with the power we obtained. We can do something spectacular. All right, he's there. He's there. All right, we're done with that. So both my starters got bodied, and that elephant just came through with the godlike luck. He had to confirm my story was true. There's actually, like, I have a gift from the anime. It's like a, a fanfy. It's using its trunk to, like, head pad a cleffa. <laughs> Mina likes that one. It's, it's adorable. Okay, rest. I like how she says, do you want to rest? Just right quick. No other crap like, welcome to the Pokemon Center or nothing like that. No common courtesy needed. Just heal me. Okay, wind work's taken care of. Let me try the radar here, actually. So, are there still Pokemon in this game that are just radar only? Because it seems like some of the Pokemon that are only in, appear from the radar in vanilla are just kind of uh, in th there normally now. Yeah, no, we don't gotta do that. Okay, now we can go up here. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Here goes. I'm getting decently close to getting Dawn Fan, so that's good. There are radar exclusive slots, but I don't think there are radar exclusive species. Okay. No, I'm not sitting like a pretzel. I'm sitting normally. Don't worry. You know what? Let's let mine do it herself then. Go, little elephant, go. Oh, wait, there are? Okay. Shield on. I don't know if mine is still here. But that was an epic save. Slam! Give up on that. Hmm, maybe I can just put Fampy up front until we get Dawn Fan. Take the experience share off, and do I have soft sand? I know I have har. I could put the scope lens or expert belt on then. Charcoal, span rare bone, the XP share. I'll just try. Hmm. Suppose I could fix my headphones first. I'll just put expert belt on first. Maybe I can get extra boosted ground type from that. I love Pokemon that smell sweet, like this one. Get a whiff of this. Radar is is, is post-game normally, yeah. They give it to you at the start. And, of course, grass types. Don't smell Pokemon. This is revenge for the Chikorita I ditched. Let's not smell Pokemon, unless they're Trubbish. Mmm, Bulbasaur still... Whatever. Full experience for Yo-Yo this time. Do you understand? Concerning. Weasel. What kinds of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? I've met quite a few of them. Alright, now this is something we can take out. Do you see this chipmunk? It's going down. Concerned teddy bear. <laughs> I like that little emote, yeah.
All right, you're starting to upset me, little friend. It's time for you to die. Wasting my PP on that. I'm gonna fight all the trainers, of course. Destiny not, okay. There's that. It's a long way between Floroma and Eterna. Chat, we get to hear Eterna Forest music soon. We get to hear a new remix of Eterna Forest music in a few months. There we go. I like lowering the speed with this. I should be able to go to Old Chateau. I hope they remove the cut trees so I can just go there right away. Slack off. Uh, you know what? Let's just go with Defense Curl and Rollouts. How about that? Oh, never mind. He's got different plans for me. Pikas and rabbits are in the same family. That's right. Yeah, if you have, like, Fire Red or Leaf Green or something in the Game Boy Advance slot on your DS, you can make level, what, like, level 15 or so Gengars up here in the old Chateau. That Taylo looks very tiny on that sprite. And only in a certain room. Chat, you know what's uh, also really creepy about the old Chateau? I once did a, a randomizer for Platinum years ago, and one of the features is you can randomize TMs and what moves are on the TMs, right? And the room that has the ghost girl appear and, and walk away, the item that got randomized for that spot was TM Follow Me. And that was extra spooky. That was sentient video game spooky. Hmm, let's go pull those. Nice, don't use. Alright, good. Don't like that. I like that spooky house in black and white, too. I haven't played Gen 5 enough. I really should play, like, uh, what is it? Like, Volt White or Blaze Black one of these days. I got confused. Don't die, yo-yo. Don't die. Onyx. Let's hope I can do this. You can't bulldoze me. I am the bulldozer. 23, having lost the way. We gotta get to the forest so that Cheryl can heal me up. Poor little Fampy. Let's use some potions here. Can I even buy super potions yet? Even that still feels kind of slow, though. Hiya, there's no holding anything back. You know, I recently learned this, or no, not really recently, but something I found funny is apparently in the original Japanese release of, um, okay, that's good enough, of Diamond and Pearl, there was a glitch with one of the trainers on a certain route where, um, after you beat them, they would immediately go back into, like, like, standby mode, where, like, they would immediately see you and then re-battle you, and this would happen infinitely until your Pokemon finally just died of, like, struggle or something. That was Japanese Platinum? Oh, okay. Really? Platinum? How did they screw that up when it wasn't in Diamond and Pearl? That's hilarious. That's even funnier. Elephant to clean it up here. Mm. 
Mankey should go down just fine. Trainers just be carrying 999 max revives. It's that's so strange that that like a single trainer ha that happens in platinum. Like platinum was wasn't platinum made after Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well? That's extra embarrassing. How does that even happen? Super potion. Ace trainer Deanna on Route 225 specifically. It went Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, then Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. Okay, it was Gen 3 that w that did the remakes before the third version, right? It was Fire and Leaf Green and then Emerald. Yeah, that's right, because Emerald uses Fire and Leaf Green's font, because a Ruby and Sapphire had, like, a messy all-caps font, almost. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of, for sure. Penguin. You're gonna die if I leave you in there. Oh no, Penguin getting upset. Penguin unleashed energy. The game acts as if you use the Versus Seeker, so her team will be the rematch team. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, boo. How insufferable, I think she said. Or insulting. Is this a rest house? Repels are useful. If you use a repel, that also means there won't be any Pokemon to capture. Okay. We're almost there, but... It's over here. Oh? Oh? There's a whole load of Beedrill in this honey tree. Me and the buddy's gonna catch him. We're the best. You should probably stay out of the way and get stung. Hi. There's currently a swarm of Beedrill attacking people. Can I ask you to travel until... So, is there normally a cut tree here, I think? Yeah, they removed the cut trees to do this. I can't stand Beedrill. So, they really aren't gonna force me to use HMs in this game. That's good. Many poison type Pokemon. Should I have any antidotes, which I do... Hello, my name is Cheryl, and you are... Okay. There we go. Wait, what? She wants to battle? Okay. She's not tagging along this time, chat. Let me go Let me go with rollout setup. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I am in danger! Wilmer. Well, I'm definitely not surviving that thing. I guess I'm gonna have to hit power spam, because the Wilmer's probably gonna kill my Charmeleon. Rock Tomb. She can't stop me. Oh, I just realized. I said I was going to take a break after Mars. I, I completely forgot about that. Maybe I should stop after the Cheryl fight. Just do a quick break, and then I'll resume streaming. Darn it. Now this is just some bad luck right now. Wait, what? Did she read that my hidden power was ghost type? I think she did. Oh, Thunderbolt. That's probably that's probably why what she was actually going for. Nah. The fan can get a hit on though. I only have regular potions. Why well, be faster than Chansey? I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I got red again. I got red. How much HP would a Chansey have at level 20? 
probably a lot more than 40 still, but would I do more than 40 damage with Metal Claw, though? I'm honestly not sure. I'm gonna just try. Alright. I think I might do a little bit more with Metal Claw. Oh, about the same, actually. Can I get the attack boost? Critical hit? Nope. This is a problem, chat. This is a problem. You're not ready to be trained yet. Oh? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Bring it on! Samus can take down anything now. Except that. Uh Dead. Cheryl's gimmick is HP Mons. I lost three hundred dollars. <laughs> that was still a pretty epic, uh, epic comeback for Samus. So she wanted to battle me instead. That's fine. Let me see if I can buy super potions now. Yeah, I'm gonna take a break. Let me just buy stuff. Yep, super potions. Let's buy thirteen of them. My single heal ball. Let me just get close to the forest again, chat. And we'll take a quick break. It'll technically be like the end of episode one. But I'm gonna immediately continue streaming. We'll save at the rest house here. Alright, chat. So this has been fun so far. That Chansey was lots of experience, yeah. There we go. I didn't lose to a Chansey. I killed that Chansey. I've been, I've been enjoying this so far. I think it was definitely a good idea to restart. And maybe I'll level up in the grass a tiny bit. I was unprepared for Chansey. Maybe I'll start with something else. Uh, but that's okay. Anyways, for the YouTube audience, hope you're enjoying this so far. Cozy Pokemon playthroughs in the fall. Have a good night. Bye-bye.